You want to help someone? Let me tell you how. And it won't cost you a dime. Just encourage someone today. I'll give you an example. Coming up next. hit that subscribe button below that little reddish orange button below maybe it's more red than orange hit that subscribe button below go hit the notification for the next upload hey if you don't mind go ahead and give me a thumbs up like and share but only to the people you think would benefit from this and if you're already on my community thank you for blessing me you want to help someone then provide encouragement free of charge provide encouragement what what's going on today people need encouragement i'm going back to my book again i know y'all getting tired of that right I'm going back to my book again and give you an example of a story of encouragement now again my book let me get that up here for you uh, don't want to lose my page i'm trying to mark it here my book there you go so just an example now read this story here taking my glasses off again i have to take mine off to read i don't want to get the bifocals i guess if i'd grow up be more manly and grow up i could get bifocals and i'm gonna have to take but no 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 i don't want bifocals yet those are for the elderly what huh, huh? not for me all right this story is a little lengthier than others but this story is called the hospital window Brought to you by an author unknown. Two men, both seriously ill, occupied the same hospital room. One man was allowed to sit up in his bed for an hour each afternoon to receive his daily medical treatment. His bed was next to the room's only window. The other man had to spend all his time flat on his back. The men talked for hours on end. They spoke of their wives and families their homes, their jobs, their involvement in the military service, and where they had been on vacation. They just talked, talked, talked. Now remember, the first guy, he's able to look outside the window. The other guy, completely on his back. Each afternoon, when the man in the bed by the window could sit up, he would pass the time by describing to his roommate all the things he could see outside the room. All right, because remember, one guy's on his back all the time. He's not next to the window. So the roommate that could sit up for an hour to take his medicine was able to look out the window, and he's describing to the other guy so he can have some enjoyment. The man in the other bed began to live for those one-hour periods where his world would be broadened and enlightened by the description of the activity and color of the world outside that his roommate was providing for him. The window overlooked a park with a beautiful lake. Ducks and swans played on the water while children uh, sailed their model boats. Young lovers held hands and walked amidst flowers of every color of the rainbow. A grand old tree graced the landscape and a fine view of the city skyline would be seen in the distance. As the man described his view from the window in in, in detail, the man on the other side of the room would close, uh oh, I got to turn the page now, would close, is it going to close his eyes? Oh, would close his eyes and imagine the scene. One warm afternoon, the man by the window described a parade that was passing through the park. Although the other man could not hear the band, he could see the parade in his eyes in his mind's eyes, as the gentleman by the window developed a detailed picture with his descriptive words. Man, providing encouragement, providing help, you know, keeping this guy laying on his back all the time, be able to access the world. One morning, the nurse arrived to bring water for their baths, only to find a lifeless body of the man by the window. All right, the man by the window had passed away now. One, uh, who had died peacefully in his sleep. She was saddened and called the hospital attendants to take the body away. As soon as it seemed appropriate, 
The other man asked if he could move next to the window. The nurse was happy to make the switch, and after making sure he was comfortable, she left him alone. Then slowly, painfully, he propped himself up on one elbow to take his first look outside to the world. Finally, he would have the joy of seeing it for himself, not what his roommate described to him, but seeing it personally. He strained to slowly turn to look out the window beside the bed. To his surprise, the window faced a brick wall. What? A brick wall? The window faced a brick wall. No golden pond, no flowers, you know, the rainbow colors, no lovers holding hands. This faced a brick wall wall. The man called for the nurse and asked what could have compelled his deceased roommate to describe such wonderful things outside his, his window. The nurse responded that the man was blind. The man looking out the window, he was blind and could not even see the wall. She said perhaps he just wanted to encourage you. Perhaps he just wanted to encourage him. So look what he did. But well, let me get my glasses back on now so I can see what I'm doing. This man was blind and given all this description of what's going outside the window. The guy on the back, he couldn't get sit up to look out the window, so he didn't know the brick wall was there. He didn't even know his roommate because he on his back didn't even know his roommate was blind. He wanted to provide joy to his roommate by describing this picturette of everything out there so beautiful of the world. Provide encouragement. People, with the day what's going on, provide encouragement. Again, it doesn't cost you up down, doesn't cost you a big red cent, doesn't cost you anything, but provide some type of encouragement to someone. Even if it's no more than just smiling at them because they may be having a bad day. Go up to him. Of course, nowadays we shouldn't be shaking hands with everything going on. But still, go up and say hello to someone. That may be the po most positive thing they've heard in days because people have ignored them. Go out and provide encouragement to someone. Hey, don't forget to subscribe, like, share to someone you think may be able to use this and benefit from it. Again, thank you all for blessing me, for being part of my community. I'm going to leave now with encouragement. Do something today, tomorrow, something next week that's going to help you persevere past your paralysis.